You asked and you shall receive. Well, nobody asked, but nonetheless, we're going to make the Absurd City Fantasy Football League weekly updates even quicker and simpler for you. So let's go. Well, I guess I didn't see this one coming as Mothius beat me in the future. And 133.9 to 106.94. Sounding like some radio stations right there, guys. Good job. Look at that. Devin Ashane being a uh, pain to your fantasy opponents with 29 points. Ooh, Justin Jefferson still putting up 20 plus points. Houston defense, special teams, 16. Oh, you love when you get double digits from the defense and special teams. And I told y'all Nico Collins is going to be nice. My friends know about that. But Jerome Ford and, J and Jaden Daniels are butt juice, man. And Jed Stone sucks, bro. Pterodactyl flying all over him. A lot of help from Devontae Adams. How about that? How about that Kai Fairbairn guy? 20 points as the kicker? The kicker, my goodness. It's a lot of points. It's like Jorge Garcia's style right there. But, uh, oh man, Jed Stone's so close. Uh, but when your quarterback only gets you 13.9 points, I mean, that's, that's, that was one of his top performers too. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, Jake Summer lost so much for him being number one. Well, hey, my Eagles, uh, really kind of, you know, uh, pooped to the bed on Monday night, but you know, little fire engine Joey's not complaining because his two top scorers being on the Eagles and oh, just a, just a tough break for Jake Summer. I think he just kind of ran out of steam and didn't have really anyone good for Monday night. Also, again, when your quarterback gets you less than 10 points, that's what's going to happen. Let's stop for a second and peek in on yesterday's historic division conference. I got one for Sarah Joey. Uh, Sarah Joey, we frankly don't know who you are. Um, you're now 0-2 and, and couldn't even crack 100 points this past Sunday. Uh, what, what do you say to the people who are basically writing you off for the end of this. Yeah, I don't have much of an identity at all. I was only on this channel one time, and it was just Joey's normal voice. Like, it burps, like, throughout the entire stream. Um, you know, I can't control what grown men do on a field, so shut up. Uh, kind, of, kind of the same question for Janitor there. Uh, you're also 0-2, and uh, kind of no one really knows who you are. Half of the division can't even speak. I don't know why we didn't think this through before holding a press conference. <coughs> See that butt juice alert was for everybody here but me. And I and I guess the fire engine. The most important thing is I won, and now Gary owes me a plate of Cajun wings. I owe you nothing. You can't just make up wages as we go along, and you're just salty because I beat you in golf the other day, and you even said, dang, I'd rather have the win in golf than in fantasy. Okay, no surprise the janitor's gonna fart, but that's because he also farted away a possible win. Joey from the past evens himself at one and one. Alvin Kamara pretty much did it on his own, 44 points, and wow, really come to think of it, without Alvin Kamara pushing that many points off, you know, the Jander's actually got a shot at this, but nonetheless, offense all around, look at that, Calvin Ridley, Zay Flowers, all, all guys with speed, speed is what you need, but what you don't need is only three points from your first running back, Rashad White, Oh, I, I probably should have picked a better character than Sir Joey, 81 points. Oh, got crushed by my brain. A lot of help from last Thursday night with James Cook starting it off. DK Metcalf, oh, you love having DK Metcalf go up for those 50-50s. Uh, but you know what? Not really Sir Joey's fault. I mean, Tua got knocked out and AJ Brown uh, did not play. And I guess uh, that's the risk you run with uh, having a Monday nighter being one of your, your lineup guys. The battle of the oldest men known alive. Well, at least I know Gary is. Captain, Captain Cowboy Amos Payne, now on the 2-0 platform. Chris Godwin, 24 points. Blake Bauer, Brock Bowers, Brock, Brock Bowers, not Blake. Painful to only get six-something points from Tyreek Hill. Now let's peek in on the Future Divisions press conference. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, and... If they just let us play in place of our players, I would have won um, everything. Yeah, I got a question. Hubert Deskspin of Sports Radio. What, like, what is what is this? I don't I don't get any of this. And what I don't understand is here you've got 
the brain of this content creator, if you want to call him that. But it doesn't make sense because doesn't his brain represent everybody? And then why would you? Why would everyone not be to it? I mean, I, I don't. I, and like, who would want to watch something like this? Like, I, I don't. I don't get it. They have me, so you need to get physical lifestyles of my bedroom. Damn. Okay, gamblers, uh, this is your, these are your updated odds on who's going to win the championship presented to you by Why Are You Betting? And you see those bottom three butt juice players, uh, they don't move because they're, they're just going to be butt juice and I think they'll be butt juice forever. But now Mafia stands alone, shortest odds to win the championship. But I still think Future Me is going to, you know, come up big, so, um, how you're making these bets, I don't know. Why I'm taking the time to make these odds for you, I don't know. But there you go. Enjoy. Oh, oh, yeah. And then the schedule for next week. Let's look at that right there. Yeah, you go. Week three matchups. Week three matchups. Yeah, the future division looking to, 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 to dominate. Well, because there's only two divisions in the whole league, so of course. But the big one to watch down there at the bottom, that's two undefeateds going at it right there. Cowboy Amos Payne versus my brain. Who's going to bring the pain? And of course, you know, these lines can always move in the coming days. A pterodactyl is going to whip that little fire engine right there. Um, okay, so that's what's going on in Absurdity, Absurdity Fantasy Football League. Jeez, come on, Joey, you made up the name. Bye.